everyone. Welcome to Storytime with Joni. Today we're going to be talking about different kinds of animals you can draw. Now can you guess what kind of animals we're going to draw today? That's right, we're going to draw farm animals. So we're going to use the same ideas we, we talked about last time, which are shapes. And we're going to use those shapes to make animals. Now let's review our shapes. We have circles, squares, triangles, a half circle, and a rectangle. Now we're going to start with an animal that everyone knows and loves, and that animal says oink. Can you guess what animal that is? That's right, it's a pig. So if we're going to draw our pig, we need to first start with its head. So in order to draw a pig's head, we're going to make a circle. Get a nice circle in there. Now, now that we have the, the head, we're going to draw the body. Now the circle for the head is a little smaller, but we want, to make our body, we want a nice big circle. So you're going to draw a nice big circle. And it's going to overlap a little bit with the head. Now once you have that, now you're probably not going to be using a whiteboard, you're going to be using a pencil, and you can erase the line that you drew inside the head. Now your head is attached to your body for your pig. Now we're going to finish our head by adding some ears, a nose, and some eyes. So for our ears, we're going to add triangles to the side of the head. You want two triangles. Now see this how, how this triangle where the point is at the top? For these ones, you want the point facing down. And we can erase the lines inside the triangle. And we have two ears for our pig. Now, next we want to give it its nose. And we're going to make a circle, but it's going to be a little flattened. So instead of a circle like this, we're going to make a circle a little bit more like this. This circle is called an oval. So we're going to make our oval on the inside. And we're going to give it nostrils by adding two little lines inside. Now the last thing we need for our pig's head is eyes. His eyes are going to fall right about in the middle of the head. And you can give them eyelashes if you want to make a pretty pig. You can add something like a bow to any of your animals or a bow tie. And by do, to do that you make a circle with two triangles attached. So, now that we have our pig, our pig needs what? Our pig needs legs. Now for the legs we're going to draw four rectangles. One, two, so they have two in the front for their front legs, and then we want to add two in the back for the back legs. Now you, if you want to, you can add little triangles in the bottom, and that's what gives the leg their, the kind of special hooves that pigs have. And you can erase that one little line, and then you have pig hooves. Now, can you guys see what the last thing our pig needs? That's right, he needs a tail! For a tail, you can just kind of make a little fun curly cue. It can be as big or small as you want. It can have more than one curly. It can have just one. So here we go. This is how you draw a pig. So the next animal we're going to talk about drawing is actually going to be a horse's head. Um, in some, one of the later videos that you guys can watch, we're going to be drawing a full unicorn. So we're going to just talk about the head today. Now, for a horse's head, you're going to have one circle, one big circle. Then you want to have another small circle a little farther down, about right there. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to connect these two circles with lines. So we're going to draw one line on top and one line on the bottom. We're going to erase the part of the circle in between. Then we're going to add some lines to create the horse's neck. 
We're going to go here, and then we're going to go at the very top of the circle and go down. Now, this horse needs a lot more to it to be able to be seen as a horse. You can also erase this line, but don't erase the whole line because you want it to be able to see the jawline of the horse. So, the next thing we're going to need, I think this horse needs, is some ears. Now, a good way to draw horse ears is to make triangles, but have them pointing up. Our pig's ears pointed down, but this time we're going to have those ears pointing up. And you can connect that ear and erase those other lines. Now you have a horse's ears. You can give it an I. And you want to make an upside down, like a letter N, for its nose. Now this, this horse still needs something, doesn't he? You can actually also make this line a little bit thicker, too. This horse still needs hair. Now the fun thing you can do when you're drawing a horse's head is you can give it any kind of hair you want. You can give it black hair, you can give it short hair, long hair, rainbow hair. You can color it however you want to. So this is where you get all those fun crayons and colored pencils out and just go crazy. So we're gonna go, let's see, I'm gonna pull out some blue, give this horse a little blue hair, kinda give it some fun waves. And you can just do anything you want with this part. It's a lot of fun. So you can give it a lot of hair, or you can give it just a really short haircut, like on the top. So there's lots of different choices. And that is the basics of how to draw a horse's head. Now, there's a few more farm animals that we just really can't ignore. Um, I think one animal that I think of when I think of a farm is a chicken. So, in order to draw a chicken, we're going to have to say goodbye to our pig. Guys, going to say goodbye? Bye, pig. So we have more room to draw a chicken. So our pig, our chicken, is going to be another circle, but this is going to be a kind of a smaller circle. Okay? Now, we're going to start using some of those other shapes that we talked about earlier. We're going to actually use a half circle. So, the half circle, we're going to draw kind of below and bigger than our first circle. We're going to connect those two. And then we're going to do a triangle here. And that is going to become our chicken's beak. Now that we have those main parts, we're going to erase some of these lines. Now what other things does a chicken need? They need tail feathers and they need wings, right? So we're going to do another half circle line inside, but we're going to leave it open on one side and that becomes our chicken's wings. And then our, for our tail feathers, we're going to erase just the very end of that half circle and this is another place you guys can be really crazy and really fun. You can give it just a few little chip tail feathers. Or you can give it some crazy tail feathers. Whatever you want to do. We're going to add some stick legs to our chicken. Really simple. And an eye, little dot. Now, if you want to make a boy chicken, you kind of make what looks like fingers on the top of his head. And you get a boy chicken. Alright, so, and that is a simple way to draw a chicken. Now, another animal we're going to talk about is a cow. Now, cows kind of have similar faces to horses, except they're not as long. So we're going to go again with our one circle for the head and a smaller circle that will connect to the bottom part of the head. Now, unlike horses where their ears go up, cow's ears go out and they usually have horns. So we're going to add the ears, the little triangles on the side and then little horns, which are more triangles on the top. 
So you end up with four triangles on this cow on their head to make um, everything right. So then you add your eyes. Now, this is the time where you should really erase those lines and give him a nose. But if we want to have a cow with a body, which most people do, you're going to add a big rectangle. Nice big one. Because cows have a really boxy body. Well, like some animals, like our chicken is really skinny and our pig was just nice and round. Cows are very boxy. So you, what we're going to do it here, just like we did with the horses, we're going to draw lines to connect the body with the head. So now we have our body, but our cow still needs legs. Now just like we did with our pig before, we're going to add some rectangles. Now cows have regular hooves, so you don't have to do the triangle trick at the bottom. So we're adding more triangles. Now, if this is a dairy cow, we're going to add a half circle in front of one of the legs, put in the other. Now, the last thing our cow needs is he needs a tail. So we're going to draw a very, 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 very skinny and tall triangle and some hair at the, top, at the bottom. Maybe give them a hair. Now you can make your cow all sorts of fun spots. You can make them one solid color. Lots of choices. Now, we're going to do one last animal for this video. Are you guys ready? This is one of the softest, fluffiest animals that you can find on a barn. Yes, it's a sheep. We're going to say goodbye to our chicken. Bye, chicken. Now sheep are very, very simple. So you're gonna have a long circle. This is gonna be our head. Now, and then you're gonna have another circle that we're putting on the top. But this circle, we're gonna, we're gonna change it. So how you have a regular circle, it's nice and smooth, right? Well, we're gonna give it all kinds of bumps. Can you guys make kind of a squiggly lines? Try it. Not bad. Not bad. So what we're going to do is we're going to give this sheep some fun squiggly hair on the top of its head. Going to erase the other half of that line. Going to give it some triangle ears. Sheep have ears in the same spot as cows do. So we can kind of see they look kind of similar. Now, sheep have so much wool, sometimes you can't even see their necks. I know, it's crazy. So we're going to go in and create another circle here, a big circle, just like we did for our, our pig before. But now that we have our circle in, we're going to go and make it really fluffy. And just kind of give it nice, big poofy wool some eyes and some a nose and a cute little fluffy tail and again we're going to give our sheep four legs to give them four legs we're going to need four what was it that's right rectangles so you add your four rectangles two in the front two in the back And you have your very own sheep. Bah. Thank you guys for joining me for Storytime with Joni. I hope you guys enjoyed this and you learned something new. Bye everyone.